So this is the second part. I guess I'm going to do this in parts since I'm using the free version of Bandicam because this is the first tutorial I've ever made. I'm not really going to go spend money on it. So we just made sure our weights are one normalized here. And then we're just checking the bones to make sure uh, each segment was weighted. This might have missed a couple areas. Let's see. Well, I think this would be okay. We'll deform the mesh here with the bones in a minute just to check how it goes. And if it doesn't look right, then we'll go ahead and re we'll reweight some vertices if necessary. Now let's get to the jawbone here. Now you can see, I just want the jawbone this area right here to move separately from the top. And so we'll go down, let's see, we'll scroll up. We'll select vertices. Now I should be able to select vertices in 3ds Max here. Just can hold down control and can add more. And then, if I scroll down to Weight Properties, Absolute Effect, we can ass assign them all at once. So red is fully affected by the bone, and gray is not affected at all, which we want. Let's get rid of that top part. Do the same thing. Take a look at that. You can see right here, it's nothing selected. That means there are different weight properties in there. Okay, where is that red coming from? Let's go to the wireframe. So I think right here. Yep, right here. Didn't seem to work. That's okay. That's all right. We will. We can uh, tweak this in a second. So let's get to the top bone here. Still select the bottom. Get some more of the head in there. So this is just going to be kind of a trial and error after we're done editing the envelopes here. So we're done for the sec for a moment, and then I'll go ahead and you can see where it's good and where it's not. So we want to get rid of these, but this makes it easier. Let's just kind of edit some of the some of the verts, and then separate these guys. It'll be easier to get in and reach these verts inside his mouth. So we'll go back to select the mesh again. Uh, edit envelopes. Frame mode might be a little bit easier for this. So let's select everything we can here. Now, when I deselect the top ones, it's going to find the next closest bone to to weight itself to, which should be. If I deselect these, it will. It should go to this bone. So let's do that. This weights will always be one. So that should be good. Alright, let's do the 
top bone here, or the bottom of the jaw bone. Sure, I want these to move with the jaw, make the mesh look kind of funny. And for some reason, it doesn't want to move this. I don't know if this is a problem with 3DS and I have to restart, which is possible. Try something else here first. Yeah, it's, it's no longer letting me wait these, so I'm just going to save this file. Just give it a different name here. And close this out. Reopen it. Alright, so I'm back here and zero time for you. It's about 60 seconds for me. So things are working again. And I'll go ahead and wait these and I probably let this video run out while I'm just skinning and then I'll skip to a new section. Uh, so if you just want to know how to get the file in, if you've already skinned and boned, you might want to just skip ahead. Otherwise, hang here with me, listen to me breathe, and do some dirty work. I will have to say this is actually something for my own game. So I'm not really keen on giving the most fantastic tutorial in the world, but hopefully it helps a few people. <laughs> 